Okay, quiet in the back, please. Quiet down. Quiet down. It's page 62. Page 62. That's the homework assignment. Please do the even numbered equations. Don't bother with the odd. If you show up tomorrow with the odd, that will indicate who you are. Just do the even numbered. That's the assignment. That's your homework. Quiz first thing. Questions? You're dismissed. My name's Jim Fitzpatrick. 40 years as a Montessori teacher. And that's how I was introduced to the cube of the binomial equation. Lifeless on page 62 of my algebra textbook. And so we're here today with Ben and Nina and Cash and Malia to show you that the binomial cube equation is actually a vibrant, lively, fun thing to do. So, and I think we have our, hey, can you come on out and we'll see if we can get you to capture what Cash is now doing. So we start, Cash is our four-year-old student. He's uh, starting with the sensorial aspect of the binomial cube. He's essentially taking it out of the box, disassembling it, and then reassembling it into the box. He's going to give it back to Malia, and Malia is going to, well, she's jumping right into the pinnacle of the sensorial experience. She's going to uh, be, do the activity blindfolded. And this allows her the opportunity not just to hold the equation in her hand, but actually to visualize in her mind what the pieces are doing. Meanwhile, and we can capture perhaps what Nina is doing here, Nina is uh, working on the numerical aspect of the binomial. And if she had started this work, if we had more than six minutes, um, she would have started this work, she's calculating the binomial, 6 plus 4 cubed, and this is what her work would have looked like. She would have taken little tickets and labeled each piece of the cube. The first one would have been the 6 cube, followed by 6 squared times 4, 6 squared times 4, 6 squared times 4. If and I can grab this, the 6 cube, the 6 square is 4 high. The 4 square is 6 six high. And then she would have taken that, and that's what she's working on right now. She would have taken the tickets and transcribed them into all of the multiplications. So six times six times six, six times six times four, six times, and that's what she's actually working on right now. Sitting next to Nina is Ben. Ben is working on the algebraic equation, and he would have labeled each square cube, each part of the binomial cube, with uh, the appropriate ticket, a cubed plus a squared b, um, a squared b, a squared b, b squared a, b squared a, b squared a. And then from that, he would extrapolate the equation itself, which I can see here, much like that lifeless equation that was on, my, on page 62 of my algebraic textbook. And then he is calculating this particular equation for the value of 8 and 6. Two terms, binomial, just like a bicycle, two wheels on the bicycle, two terms in the, in the binomial. So we have um, four-year-olds building the equation sensorially and then visualizing. And then we have a mathematical computation um, preparing them for the uh, algebraic equation, and the basic process that we're bridging here is going from the concrete to the abstract. Younger child can hold the equation in their hand, and Ben at the algebraic level is able to take that equation in his mind. The end result is the binomial prepares them for the trinomial, which prepares them for quadratic equations, physics, chemistry, and study of astronomy, astrophysics, and indeed the Montessori's binomial cube is the key to the universe. Imagine that. <laughs> and it looks like Nina is, she's got all of her multiplications finished and she's adding up all of the numbers and amazingly enough, she has the right answer. <sighs> So 
so the cube of six, all of the multiplications, all of the products are added up. Six plus four is 10. 10 cubed is 1,000. So all of her products add up to 1,000. Strangely enough, in the classroom, she doesn't need the teacher to tell her that she's finished the work and done it correctly. She can check it herself and then independently go off and pick another activity. And Ben is busily working on his calculations and he's adding up his products, A times A times A, at this point is 512. Cash has finished with the blindfolded. Malia has finished the blindfold. And we haven't got the hook yet, so we're still on stage. <laughs> and that's how it's done. Are we finished? Yeah. We're finished. Ben, you're going to have to finish off stage. Thank you very much.